Hello everyone, CMCraft here, and welcome to Not For Broadcast. Um, so yeah, I thought this was an interesting game. I actually got such a key for this game from, uh, the publisher, or develop- yeah, publisher, I guess, would be who's in charge of that. Uh, so yeah, I'm quite excited to see about this. This is a game, apparently, about, uh, running a live, like, TV station, like, news station broadcast, as you can kind of see with this TV over here. Uh, I will say, I am a bit under the weather right now, so uh, hopefully that doesn't make my voice too annoying to listen to. Although, for this game in particular, lots as I understand, there's going to be lots of uh, live action, like, footage in the game itself, so... Who knows, you might not end up listening to me all that uh, all that much. But yeah, I'm uh, interested in this game, interested to see what's going on. I will say, this game does seem a bit more uh, intense and perhaps mature than what we've historically played on this channel, so if you're not interested in that, then uh, now's your chance to leave. But otherwise, let's get into Not For Broadcast, which we will broadcast on YouTube. Huh. Hopefully that's not a problem. Let's go. Enter a game name. Uh, CMC. Oh, wait, hold on. Is this, is this going to be my name, or is this just a save file name? I don't know. Be Charles. There we go. Let's go. Um, uh, so I guess story mode. Wait, hold on. Okay, so this is difficulty settings. I was going to say let's do story mode because that's normally the default. No, story mode. Actually, this is just one of the uh, newfangled like accessibility options. That's what experience story without the stress of broadcast mechanics. Uh, well, no. Uh, I will be a broadcaster, I guess. Uh, normally I'm a normal man, so let's go. That's all coming up on tonight's National Nightly News. Ooh, NNN. Nice. I feel like I'm in a BBC special already. I do wonder, is this uh, news station we're going to be working for a spoof on like a specific one? I don't know. To me, the game gives off some British vibes just on the marketing. Just part of why I made the BBC joke there, but a little while back. A little while back, I mean, like, a few seconds ago. Uh, but I don't know. Who knows? It was just news in general. Day one, the election. Ooh, sweet, an election. What a great first day. I'm sure that'll be zero stress whatsoever. Turn right. Ooh. Oh, hey guys, what's up? Hi David, I have a call for you. I'm just putting it through. All right, mate. Dave here. Listen, uh, I know you've only come in to clean up the place, but I've got a bit caught up, so uh, you're going to have to run the news tonight. Now, don't worry. It's not hard, and I'm going to stay on the phone and help you. First, I'm going to give you a quick tour of the broadcast room, so if you're not doing it already, look forwards towards all those screens. Of course, right, yes. Look up at the top. That coloured bar is your audience. You want to keep the viewers going up and not down. Okay. Underneath that, you've got the screens. Gotcha. The one on the right is the broadcast screen. That's what the viewers are seeing at home. It's only a couple of seconds behind the master screen there in the middle. Okay. That's the one you control. Now, the four small screens on the left show the different signals coming from the okay, studio. Okay, those are my feeds. And you can okay. choose between them using the numbered buttons on the vision mixer at the bottom left. Don't worry. I'll talk you through it and you'll pick it up in no time. Now... Have a look to your left. My left? These plugs control everything in the studio. I've left them set up for you, so provided you haven't fiddled with them, all you have to do now is throw the master trip switch and we're in business. Once you've got the power on, face the front again. What if I, like, fiddle with the VHS rep? Is there a reason I would ever want to turn these, like, off? You can see on the broadcast screen that we're in the end time. 
titles for the show before us. Okay. Fortunately, they go on for fucking ages. So there's plenty <laughs> of time for me to explain. Oh, right. Okay, they're over. Oh. So we haven't got long now till the broadcast. Right, quickly, mate. Look down um, under the desk. The, the desk. You can see a load of videotapes on the left. They're your adverts. Pick any three and load them into the machines on the right. When you've done that, look up to the front again. Well, exercise. Mm, my salad. We'll get something for the vegans. And, uh, Alan James, why not? Right, won't be long now till the signal starts coming through from the station. Stay on your toes. All the bigwigs are in tonight because of the election, so we better not make any mistakes. Okay. When you get the signal, select screen one with the vision mixer and we're ready to go. Oh, pour on the mayonnaise. Mm. You don't see if you make me come out in the pot. Oh. Yeah, I thought it might include okay. viewing figures. Every day. You offer me prawns every day. Wait, was I supposed to do that yet? How I show love. You're trying to kill me. And yet you persist. Oh, going in five, four. Oh, come on now. It's time to join Jeremy Donaldson. Good evening. I'm Jeremy Donaldson. Our main story is tonight. Okay, we're all good. Next is going to be the throw to the news titles on screen two. Okay. be a countdown, but I'll count you in as well. Just relax, mate. It's all gravy. Okay. Because Andy's totally independent and corners the flawed market. Top chat. Sports fans everywhere celebrate as popular footballer Johnny Hamsleys wins Sports Personality of the Year. And a spoonful okay. of sugar. Megan will be chatting with movie star Lawrence Blunderclatch about his new movie. I feel like I should be talking a bit more, but I'm also trying to be focused. We'll be going live to advance headquarters. Oh, we're on 10, 9, 8. Okay, uh, so. Right. Two, in three, two, one. Lovely mate. Perfect, perfect. in the middle shrinks down and vanishes okay i like this it's quite a long introduction i'm not sure i would do this for my own, <laughs> my own videos but you know you gotta have the the flair for it right <laughs> i love the love that adam bomb clad there the votes are in, and it's a decisive win for advance. We often get a bit of interference around this time, mate. Keep your eye on the machine at the bottom right. Use that yeah. slider that's flashing, or your scroll wheel, to move the wave up and down, keeping the green bit in the white bit. Oh, what? Oh, yeah, I gotta upshift it. Deliberately vent. The opposition parties have all been to defeat to advance's overwhelming mandate, but have yet to appear publicly. However, former home secretary. Right, yeah. it's going well. Okay. What you've got to do now is play the other at the end of the segment. Make sure you don't play it too early or we'll all get fired. Now, the clock at the top Wait. is counting you down to the advert. When it reaches Where? zero, press one of the three play ad buttons over there at the bottom right. I normally play the first one and the first break and so on, but you can play them in any order you want. I'll count you into it as well, but keep your eye on the clock. Where's the clock? And three. Oh, that's two, the clock. <laughs> one, one minute back, everybody. Jeremy. Okay, sweet. What? Why? Wanker Snatch is running late. Oh, I thought I'd ask him about the election. Personally, I wouldn't try to confuse him with any big words. So, so far, so good. Um, I have to say, I I don't have much experience in uh, live programming, but hopefully my extensive uh, history in video editing will help us here. Maybe not, who knows. Weird. We made it to the first ad break. You're doing great, mate. But this is where it starts getting a bit trickier. This next sequence is what we call a multi -cams. Oh, I love multi -cams. Of course, of course. A lot of it's down to personal taste, but here's three good rules of thumb. Aren't my One, Please try and keep the shot on whoever is doing the talking. Makes sense. Two, don't stay on the same shot for too long. Ten seconds at the most. So if you're on the person who's talking, try and throw in the odd reaction shot or pull out to the wide shot for a bit just to keep it interesting. Three, don't stay on reaction shots for too long. A couple of seconds is usually enough. Then the audience want to see who's doing the talking, yeah? Stick to these rules and you'll be fine. It's not as complicated as it oh, seems. That's just flexible. Seen programs on television, haven't you? Make it look like those. Might as well get screen one selected now. No need to wait for the broadcast to start. Try and stay ahead, mate. Gotcha. Gotcha. Quiet in the studio. Thank you so much for... Ten seconds, everybody. Uh, ten seconds. Let's do this. Getting in five, four, three. 
Welcome back to the National Nightly News. Later, we'll be hearing from the shock election winners advance. But first, Get ready to go to Megan on screen four. Is here with a star of both stage and screen. Megan? Thank you, Jeremy. Flawless. Culture correspondent, and today I have a guest who starred in everything from Shakespeare. Right, to go to Blunderclatch on screen three when she says his name. Okay. None other than Lawrence Blunderclatch. Thank you so much for coming on. Perfect. Oh I do hope you believe me when I tell you that being with you here today is a moment. Switch to two for the wide now. Yeah, yeah, I, I had a having you here with us is among ours. <laughs> right, now just try and stay on whoever's talking. The latest movie, which is called The Medicated. The Medicated, yes. <laughs> wow, what was that like? Yeah. Well, as I said to Peter at the rap, that's Peter Jensen, the director. Do you know him? He's a wonderful chap. He really Give us a look at Megan's reaction. Lovely. Now back to Thunder Twat. Okay. I said to Peter, what a wild ride this has been. And do you know what, Megan? I really meant that. Wonderful. Wow, that is fantastic. And am I right in saying that the character you play in this movie right is quite an academic one? Absolutely right. Okay, okay. Was that a challenge at all? What exactly are you implying? What exactly are you implying? But seriously, yes, you're right. It was a complete departure from my last starring role when I played Sergeant Brock Rockman in Bullet Man. You'll remember that that was the truth. I feel like I'm cutting it a bit fast, but who knows? If the audience likes it, then. Hopefully. I think it's grossed over a billion dollars, but uh, obviously, who's counting? It's a role that saw you scoop two Best Actor awards, if I remember correctly. It's so sweet of you to mention it, but I really am not in it for the awards, although those three little statues do take pride of place on my mantelpiece. Uh, with all the others, I'm sure. So... If you're not doing it for the awards, what okay. is it then that drives you? Oh, that is a beautiful question, Megan, and not easy to answer. Like okay. you, I'm afraid. Cut me, and I will bleed. And often, that's how it feels. Of course, yes, obviously. Doesn't it? Bleeding, giving, suffering for one's audience. I suppose in the end I do it for the difference it makes. I do it for the people that I inspire. The little people. But most of all, I think I do it for the positive change that I can bring about in the world. And today, of course, <laughs> we're in for some real change, it looks like, in the coming few months. What do you make of this historic election result? Oh, well. <laughs> this is a tough game to commentate, however. <laughs> Uh. Indeed, historic is the word. Well, it's difficult, isn't it? Very difficult. But um, I think I've always been quite clear that when it comes to politics, that one should always strive to not fuck things up. Oh, oh, okay. oh, don't worry, he won't do it again. She yeah. did it again. Okay, don't panic. I'll explain how to deal with swearing at the break. Medicated, which opens next week. Right, they've swapped the shot of Jeremy on screen one for a VT of the movie clip. You'll get a countdown on the screen. But I'll just let Megan cue you in. My character, Dr. Lance Hemlock, is faced with a decision that could affect humanity's very survival. Of course. Exciting stuff. Let's take a look. Exciting stuff. Perfect. Okay. It's a what? bit trickier this time, mate. Use that little flashing joystick to the left of the knob, what? or hold down your middle mouse or alt on your keyboard, and as the frequency changes, match it to the white bit by dragging right. You think I don't know that? Uh -huh. Now we're going to squash the frequency back by dragging left. I know it is great. Think of Carol. Oop, oop. Stay in there. Oh, come on. Okay, I think we're good. Jubbly, mate. I'm dreading. Next, we're going to change the amplitude. Same as last time. Little joystick or hold alt to a middle mouse and this time push upwards. Upwards, mate. Upwards. Oh, oh. Okay. I like the other way. Right, now let's match it back by going downwards. I got you, buddy. I got you. Of course. Well, that's a the sterility. thing to worry about in this station. This formula, this formula 
this is the key. We can stop them all. Yes. Bloody perfect, mate. Thank you. We have to ask ourselves. At the end of the clip, you'll want to play another ad. Remember perfect. Oh, that's how much time you have left in the segments. Nice. Ooh. Right. I guess I better explain how to deal with bleeping out swear words. That would be good. Probably notice the broadcast screen here is about two seconds behind the master screen. Yes. Here, when someone says a naughty word, the bleep button lights up like this. Two okay. seconds later, you'll hear that swear word going out on the broadcast, and you need to hold down the bleep button or the space bar on your keyboard for as long as the swear word lasts. I think I'll space bar this. It can take a bit of practice getting used to hearing two things at once. Just stay calm and you'll get it. And if you can't tell when to bleep, just above the button, you'll literally be able to see the sound scrolling by. All you've got to do is hold it down while the red bit is over oh. the red line. Simple. Easy, but easy. Course, if you do it by eye, you'll have to take your eye off the screens. That's why real professionals do it by ear. Most people like to have the volume of the broadcast screen a little bit below the master screen. Let's set it now. Um, how? Mate, if you don't turn up the broadcast volume, you won't be able to time your bleeps. But where's the volume for it? Oh. Good. It's set to start censoring. Like I say, it takes a little practice, but I'll try and help you through it, and soon we'll have you bleeping like a pro. Remember, button lights up, count one, two, and hold it down. Remember okay. to select screen one now that you've got the feed. Don't wait for the broadcast to go live. That's too late. You can use the number buttons on your keyboard, one to four. Oh, sweet. Three. Welcome back. And I'm told we can now go Welcome live back. to advance headquarters we can now where the two leaders, Peter Clement and Julia Salisbury, are about to make their acceptance address. Are about to make their acceptance address. Oh shit, he's pissed. Shall I start? Okay. Shall I start? Okay. Uh, thank you all for coming. Okay. And, well, uh, thank you all where for coming. do I start? And, well, what a where do day. I start? Been on that short bit long. Oops. <laughs> 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 certainly did. They use every dirty, low-down, lying southern This is... Quite <laughs> confusing. <laughs> I'm sorry about the language there. Sorry about that. I'm at a couple of celebrities. There is a lot to worry about here. Okay. Memorably put. Memorably. But to be honest, who can blame Peter for celebrating? Who can blame Peter Throughout the campaign, you've heard us say that advance are not a political party. Advance are not a party. is what you have when things are going well. Okay. When the country is suffering, you don't need a party. You need a team. A team that can change things. But today is day one of a new future. A better, fairer future. So perhaps we should all be celebrating. Except so for the rich. For them, the party's <laughs> over. They shouldn't be celebrating. They should be putting their shit in pants Oops. on and opening their Oops. Again, Just bleep the wrong word. Sorry. <laughs> Oh. When we came out here to address the nation, we, we used our executive to powers nation, to pass the Assets and Wealth Act. Working with the tax office, office, we have produced a definitive list of every person in the country with wealth into the millions. You uh. know this sort of problem. You, you rather you don't. Sort of because the likes of you and me are not welcome in their gated community. Tomorrow, we will be introducing a sweeping reform of the tax system in this country. No more hiding wealth offshore, no more trust funds. So this is election night, so this is not a debate, so this is... Remember the 10 seconds. So all you bastard public school snobs have got nowhere to hide. And earlier today, we revoked your passports. We revoked your passports. You want them back? You want to leave like you threatened... Oh, are they both? Okay, I thought these were like competing politicians. Looks like they're both part of the same party. You're gonna pay back. Advance are going to turn this country from a nation of warring individuals into a team. 
to properly fund health and education, to, properly fund to raise the living standards of us all. The, the pundits said we'd have to raise billions, but you'll see when billions. we've reclaimed what's ours, we've that's reclaimed absolute ferret shite. That's <laughs> so to you posh twats. The people who pay your pittance to serve them drinks in their private clubs. The people who okay. you raise. So they've got time to get even fucking richer. <laughs> Advance have this to say to you. It ends today. We are coming for your sports cars and your mansions and your vineyards. It ends today. We will put the wealth of this country back where it should have always been. In the hands of the people who created it. It ends today. Yes, it ends today. And tomorrow we'll start making it fair again. Just like we promised we would. And until like then, the ladies and gents, and until then, ladies I suggest we all get pissed. <laughs> I can't I argue with that. <laughs> I thank you for your time. <laughs> well, then. interesting acceptance speech there from the leaders of advance. Oops. And our apologies for the fruity language. And our Hopefully, we got that bleeped out for you in time. If not, someone's going to be in trouble. If not, Someone's going to be in So, as the country braces itself for new government, <laughs> that's all. <laughs> yeah, I just started to get some revenge. <laughs> uh, well, not revenge for a second, but he was taking a shot at me, so I take I'm a shot at him. Have a peaceful all right, looks like you've got it now. Thanks for the help, mate. I've got to go. Ferry's about to leave. Probably won't be coming back. Job's yours, mate. Good luck. Wait, what? What? Came old boring politics, then? This is some weird fever dream, and I'm dying now. You should be so lucky. I'll see you tomorrow night. You're not coming for a drink? No, nope, got a date. Lucky you. Try not to get murdered. Very soon you'll have a okay, broadcast completed. Okay. When the program's finished, you'll get a broadcast report. It's three pages. This first page shows you how well the broadcast went. Each sequence and an overall grade. Remember, okay. grades mean bonuses. Okay. Right, this is the important page. It tells you how much you're going to get paid and how much wealth you have overall. That bollocks at the bottom shows you the financial state of our main advertisers. But you don't own any fucking shares, you're a cleaner for God's sake, so why would you care? Well, I'm, I'm not a cleaner anymore, just to be clear. That does seem rather important.